Hi, my name is Kevin Cam, and I'm the Extension Agent of Agricultural Natural Resources as well as 4-H Youth Development for Virginia Cooperative Extension in the city of Lynchburg. A lot of people call and come into my office asking questions about lawn care. Why isn't my grass growing? What is this disease in my grass? Well, we're coming to a new section called fall lawn care and this will help your lawn succeed throughout the fall and into the winter and in the spring you're going to have a beautiful lawn. There's a lot of things that you can do for your lawn but the first and foremost thing that you should do is a soil test. There's tons of different components in your soil which leads to its health. It can be very acidic, it can be very basic, or it can be just right. A soil test is going to determine what the components are for your soil. Essentially, it's going to check the health of your soil. You should do a soil test every once every three years. A soil test is very important and it's very, very simple. Virginia Cooperative Extension has the resources and supplies that you need to do a soil test. Each soil test is $10 and all you get is a box and a paperwork that you fill out. You fill the box with soil, you send it to the labs at Virginia Tech, and in a week and a half you'll have your soil test results. And the reason I say that it's, for, it's very important to do a soil test is before you put down any fertilization, any kind of compost, or any kind of lime, you want to know your soil health. So today I'm going to explain to you a little bit about how to take a soil sample and then we're going to cover some other facts about your soil and your lawn to make it good for the spring. Okay, so we're going to do a soil test. How to take a soil test is very simple. First of all, you need to have your form from Virginia Cooperative Extension that is a soil sample information sheet, whether you're doing your garden or your yard. In this case, we're doing our lawn. So easy, you just fill it out. That's what you're gonna mail to Virginia Tech, along with this box right here. This box will be full with soil. And it's a simple box, it folds together, and it also has the instructions on the side. You also need a hand trowel, a bucket, possibly a shovel, and I use this because I have children, a sifter. If you don't have a sifter, you really don't need it. This just makes it a little bit more easier. So I'm going to take some samples from the yard. We want to make sure that we cover the whole yard. So if you think of the number five on a die, and how the dots are in the corners and one in the middle, that's that's a good representative sample of your yard. I'm going to go on and get some samples now. The best time to do a soil sample is maybe a day or two after it rains or when the soil is moist. Now that you have your soil in here, and you want, at least want to get four inches deep, I got about three inches deep on each of my samples just because we haven't had any rain. You want to mix the soil together. You're going to notice you might have some vegetation, rocks, roots. We don't want that. What we want to do is send to the soil lab a soil sample. What I do, I take my box, I take my hand trowel, and my sifter, put some on here, rub it in, and it falls into the soil sample. We'll put that back in, and just repeat the process until your soil sample box is full. After your soil sample box is full with soil, all you have to do is push the lids in and close it by inserting the tab. And now you've got your soil sample completed. 
once the soil sample has been sent off to Virginia Tech, it's now time to start doing some preparation for your lawn. A lot of things depend on good lawn health. One is the soil sample that you're going to find out all the components. Another one is your watering, another one is your mowing, and another one is composting and also some aerification. Fall is the best time to aerify your lawn. A quick way to check out to see if your yard needs aerification is to get a screwdriver. Get a screwdriver and stick it into the soil surface. If it goes in three inches, you're going to be fine. Your yard probably does not need to be aerified. If you check other spots in your yard and it's consistent that the screwdriver can go in three inches, you're going to be fine. If not, you want to make sure that you can go on and aerify your yard. That's very easy. It's also called plugging. You can rent a aerification machine from any kind of rental place. And what it does, it goes through your yard and plugs holes. What that, why is that good? Well, it's good because it promotes air movement that the roots of your grass need to grow. It also promotes water inside of those holes. And also too, if you're going to fertilize or put lime down or possibly reseed, overseed, it's going to be a nice hole for those elements to go into your yard. You can also put down compost. Compost is a great tool to put nutrients back into your yard. You can do this by starting your own compost pile by saving your leaves that fall, that are going to fall in the fall, and also your kitchen scraps. In the spring, you're going to have a nice pile of compost that's going to be rich in nutrients that you can spread around your yard. Ideally, if you can spread a quarter of an inch of compost over your yard twice a year, it's going to improve the health of your yard over time. If you do not have your own kind of compost but would like to put the nutrients back in your yard, all you have to do is cut your grass, but mulch it. Let those leaves break up and chop up along with the grass clippings. There you're going to get your carbon and you're going to get your nitrogen and that's going to go back into the soil and it's going to decompose, therefore putting those nutrients back in your soil. When you do that, the soil health increases and everything's going to be good and you're going to have a green yard. It is sunny out here today and we've hadn't had rain in about two weeks. Is that good for my yard in the fall or is it bad? I know that my yard's going to quit growing because it's going to store its energy over the winter, but you know what? It's hot and the grass needs water. That water is beneficial for your plant to survive over winter. Don't just think that because it's fall, you don't have to water. It's very important, especially like a day like today, after two weeks, we haven't had an adequate amount of rain to go on and put some water down. All those tips together will make you have a great yard and beautiful one for the spring. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.